Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I have a huge Zara haul to share with you. So I have got tons here. I'm just going to jump right in. Um, this is actually the product of two different orders. So yeah, I um, have been doing a lot of retail therapy lately <laughs> and with both perfume and makeup. I just did a huge makeup haul over on my other channel if you want to go check that out. If you're interested in makeup at all, um, that's where I will be posting like makeup related content. But I've got tons of perfume here. I'm just going to jump right in. I'm leaving my absolute favorites till the end. I found some absolute gems in here. I have not ordered from Zara, um, ordered perfume from Zara in quite a long time because the first time I did, um, I liked the way a lot of things smelled, but unfortunately the performance was pretty terrible for most of them. So I have not repurchased a lot since, but I know that they've been releasing a lot of new things and Zara is known for just like turning over fragrance like no other. Um, I do know that they also will oftentimes name fragrances the exact same name, um, but it'll be a different fragrance like maybe each year. They also are bad about um, having two fragrances be in two totally different bottles and two totally different names but smelling exactly the same or being the same fragrance. So, and I came across that a lot in my first haul, but this time I don't think that I got anything, uh, any kind of duplicates. So anyways, I've got a ton. I've been rambling. I'm going to jump right in. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, roller balls. So you, I don't love roller balls, but I will pick these up when I don't want to blind buy an entire full bottle and if I can't find um, one of the one ounce bottles in the same fragrance because these are like five these are five dollars and ninety cents so basically six dollars and these um, one ounce bottles are nine dollars and ninety cents so even if I'm blind buying a bottle I'll typically go for the nine dollar and ninety cent one ounce bottle because number one it's a sprayer and I don't have to roll it on number two it's only four dollars more and it's worth it to me to just get that, but oftentimes I can't find those one ounce bottles, so then I'll just opt for the roller ball. So, uh, the first one I got in the roller ball is this A Book Liaison in Lisbon. Now, I wanted to get every single one of these in this, um, this is called the Artisans Collection. And I was wanting to pick up every single one, and I did get all of them except for the a Daisy Bouquet in London because that one only came in the big, huge bottle, and I didn't want to pay $26 for the huge bottle, even though that is a completely reasonable price. Um, I'm going to do another Zara haul, too, which is crazy, I know, because I just got literally, like, 20 perfumes here. Maybe not 20, but, like, a lot. Um, but there are still more that I want, <laughs> and I'm, I've am i been really impressed with some of these so I'm gonna get more but and, and I think in that next haul I will just go ahead and get the full bottle of the Daisy Bouquet in London if any of you have tested that one or smelled it please let me know and let me know if I should go ahead and pick it up or not um, the notes look like something I would like though so anyways sorry I'm rambling a book liaison in Lisbon um, this one, I will say I'm very glad I only got a rollerball of it. Um, it's nice. There's definitely nothing wrong with it. Um, it's a nice fragrance. But it's just, it's very, I don't know. There's nothing groundbreaking about it. It's like a flowery patchouli fragrance. Slightly sweet, kind of like La Via Belle type fragrance. In fact, that's kind of what it reminds me of is Livia Bell. Um, it's really pretty. It's just not, you know, I, I don't need a full bottle of it, but I am glad I have a little roller ball. Um, so a book liaison in Lisbon is plum, strawberry, and patchouli. So, yeah, it's a fruit chuli. It's nice. Uh, it's not, you know, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's just not my favorite thing in the world, but I am glad that I got the little roller ball and tested it. And I'm very glad I did not to pay $26 for the full bottle. So that is the first one that I picked up, a book liaison in Lisbon, which I love the names of these. They're so cute. 
The next one I picked up, and this one I went back and forth as to whether I was just going to get the rollerball or I was going to get the big bottle because this was one that I thought that I was going to absolutely adore. And to be honest, I can't say whether I adore it or not because I haven't spent enough time with it. But the little bit of time I have spent with it, I'm not like blown away. Um, so let's see here. Omochi Atelier in Tokyo is pear, rice, and sandalwood. It is really nice. It is really nice, but yeah, I feel like on my skin, yeah, this is really nice. It's like a creamy, very slightly sweet, subtle pear fragrance. Uh, it is actually really pretty. Uh, okay, this one is actually really, really pretty. I think I just, when I tested this or put a little bit of it on my skin, I just had so much else on because I literally sprayed so many perfumes on that day that I couldn't really um, give this one my full attention. But now that I have it on my skin, like, and I can give it my full attention, uh, I really like it. It's like a nice, fresh, natural smelling pear. It's not overly sweet. You definitely get that beautiful, like, slightly powdery, creamy rice note. Mm, that's good. I am digging that one. So that's a Mochi Atelier in Tokyo. That was well worth the $6. I really enjoy that one. And then the last rollerball I picked up is Nui, and this is from the Night Collection. Um, this one is okay. I, I've got a cat in my lap, too, so um, this one is okay. Yeah, it is, it's nice. It's not, there's nothing groundbreaking about this. This would be a really nice bedtime fragrance. Um, Oh, it's slightly powdery. I'm quite sure this has iris in it. Um, let me tell you, actually. Nui is apricot, lily of the valley, and vanilla. No iris. Apricot, lily of the valley, and vanilla. I smell iris or something, though. It's got a powdery element to it. Yeah, I feel like I definitely smell iris. Yeah, it's got like a powderiness to it. It's pretty, nothing groundbreaking. Um, it's not, you know, it's not special or anything. It's perfectly fine. And again, I'm glad I just got the rollerball. Okay, moving on to a couple of one ounces that were not my favorite. So the first one I picked up is Red Vanilla, and this is just, again, a one ounce bottle. This is notes of black currant, iris, and vanilla. Um, this one and the next one I'm going to talk about smell like exactly the same fragrance to me. Um, ooh, that is one thing. I'm really digging these bottles or the sprayers. I'm sorry. The sprayers are really, really nice. Like they spray out a good amount and it's got a really nice like spray. Okay, so... I looked this up. I looked this up on Fragrantica as well, and Fragrantica has it as Cassis, Iris, and Vanilla. The box, I'm going to go with the box though that it came in Black Current, Iris, and Vanilla. Um, this is like a Lavia Bell dupe. So, yeah, and I don't need another Lavia Bell dupe in my life at all. So, but it's nice. It's a nice, um, it's a nice Lavia Bell dupe, but. Yeah, that one was not my favorite. And then the other one that smells, and I'm pretty sure it's the exact same fragrance, it's just in a different bottle, is Gardenia. And this one um, does not have the notes on the box, but this smells exactly the same to me. Well, this one's a little bit softer. Actually, this smells like... Um, this actually does not smell like that. This actually smells like black opium. So I think this is a dupe of black opium. 
um, gardenias, orange blossom, coffee, and vanilla. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is supposed to be a dupe of black opium. And it is a nice dupe of black opium for $10. I mean, it really is. But I have black opium, so I definitely don't need that. Uh, let's see here. Moving right along. Let's move on to some new ones I have not seen uh, on their website. I just, the first time I saw them was when... Um, let me put it this way. They weren't there when I did my first order and then I went back to order a couple more things. Well, I went back to order one other thing that that I really wanted and I ended up getting a whole bunch more stuff. But I saw these new fragrances on there when I went back to order and I ordered like three of the five. So let's, um, let's talk about those. The first one we're gonna talk about is called Amber Fusion and they come in these really pretty boxes. The notes on this one are listed as Lily of the Valley, Dry Amber, and Musky Vanilla. Whoops. And these come in these really, really pretty bottles. These are really big bottles too. They're um, 2.7 fluid ounces, so 80 mil. Uh, they're really heavy and nice and they've got this really pretty gold cap with this white um like enamel top on or top i should say so really pretty again this one's called amber fusion it's got a really nice lid too that like fits um okay this one i was thinking out of all of them this was going to be the one that i liked the most and unfortunately the musk in this is that heavy metallic -y, musk which uh, I found out so there is a certain note you smell it in a lot of niche perfumery um, and it's like it's bled over into designer perfumery now and now even into Zara perfumes and unfortunately is it is a note that I cannot tolerate it's this like heavy metallic um, what I now know to be musk note and unfortunately whoa unfortunately this fragrance has it and I really can't tolerate it this has a really nice clean like scent to it though and what did I tell you the notes were um, rose amber and vanilla yeah, I'm going to try this on my skin, but I'm pretty sure that metallic -y must note is going to take over. Um, my mom really likes that note, though, so I may see if she wants this, and if not, it'll just go up on Mercari. But yeah, these um, are really nice for what they are. I'm quite sure they're dupes of something. I just, I'm not sure what this one is a dupe of, but this one smells, I mean, because it's got that, like, musky or that, um, sorry, because it's got that metallic-y note that is so prominent in niche perfumery, this ends up smelling really niche, like it could be um, Zerzhov or uh, Suspiro, like one of those um, houses that have, that that metallic note is really prevalent in, this smells like it could be from one of those houses, so it smells way more expensive than it actually is, is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, the next one is called Rose Gourmand, and I should have known, I should have known with this one what it was going to smell like, but I didn't, and I don't know why. Uh, Rose, Dry Amber, and Vanilla are the notes on this one, and this smells like Oud Bouquet. Um, it smells exactly like Oud Bouquet, and... I have a half ounce of the real Oud Bouquet, and I don't need any, that's more than I'll ever go through in a lifetime, so I don't need this. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous dupe of Lancome's Oud Bouquet for $26. I mean, I don't know what the longevity on this guy is like or how it performs because I haven't worn it, but it smells just like Oud Bouquet. And then, last but not least... I picked up Red Temptation, and again, I should have known, Orange, Amber, and Evernil are the, um, 
uh, are the notes on this guy. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540. <laughs> exactly. This is Baccarat Rouge 540. Which I'm so over. Like, I am so over Baccarat Rouge 540. I cannot even tell you. I... The dupes of it are just coming out left and right now. I mean, they're coming out of the woodwork. Everybody is making a Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe. Everybody. So, like, I want to throw up at this point. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. But this is a nice dupe for 26 bucks if you're looking for 540 here you go. It's a great dupe of it. Again, I'm not sure how it performs, but I have another Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe in here that is only $17.90, and it performs amazingly. Like, so good. Like, I sprayed it on in the afternoon one day, and I wore it all the rest of the day, and then slept all night, and I could still smell it on my skin, on my clothing in the morning. So I imagine if that one does that well that that red temptation will be just as good so anyways those are those and these are from these are from the exclusive collection so i guess i think that's a collection that just came out moving right along let's talk about the other baccarat rouge 540 dupe except actually i would say that this is more of an ariana grande cloud dupe um, I love this. This one is gorgeous and not, and like I am over the dupes of those kinds of fragrances, but this one, there's something about this one that's gorgeous that I'm going to keep this. Uh, this is called Mimosa Cloud and the notes on this one are pistachio, mimosa, and tonka beans. And this one, like I say, um, this is more of a cloud dupe. Uh, this is sweeter. It's got that yummy, gorgeous pistachio note in it, and then the tonka. Ugh. This one I love. It's definitely in that like Baccarat Rouge 540 family, like Cloud is, but but this one is sweeter and lighter and less powdery and less musky and easier to wear. And I just adore this. I think it smells so, so freaking good. And it's $17.90. And it is like such a good dupe. Even if you don't want to spend the 60 bucks on Cloud, go for this Mimosa Cloud. Like it, it smells so, so good. And it lasts absolutely forever. Like forever. So yeah, this was a good little find. And even though I'm completely over that 540 dupe situation, like... There's something about this one that still made me happy, so. Okay, moving right along. The next one I picked up is another one from the Artisans Collection, and this is a sweet pastry in Paris, and this has notes of lemon, cane sugar, and vanilla. This one, I just went ahead and got the whole, like, the big bottle because I knew with those notes, like, I love lemon in perfume, uh, or lemon any perfume, sugar cane, and vanilla, I knew. Like, I knew that I was going to adore this, and uh, I do. This smells like lemons in a pastry crust. It smells like a lemon tart. It smells like, oh, it's so good. So on my skin, it just smells like a sugary lemon fragrance. And then on my clothing, it's like all pastry. So I really get this, like, I get the whole pie, you know, when I spray it on my clothing and my skin. It's like this yummy, sugary lemon pie. Ugh, I love it. So, yeah, that was a good little find, and it's so worth 25 bucks. Um, the only thing is this thing does not perform very well. So, yeah, I got a few hours out of it on my skin, and on clothing, though, it lasted a long time. But on clothing, it smells like straight-up sweet pastry. So, um, yeah, but I love this one. So that is a sweet pastry in Paris. Now we're getting into my favorites. Everything that I picked up 
that I am like, well, I from Mimosa Cloud on is all the stuff that I really, really like and I'm going to keep. Um, this next one is one of my favorites. This one is so nice. This is from the Weekend Collection, and this is Zara Femme. So this is what I would call the 2020 version. Um, I think it's different from past versions of Femme, I think, because I ordered Femme in the, the last time I ordered perfume from Zara, which has been a few years ago or a couple years ago maybe, and it's different from this. So yeah, this is a different Femme. And this one I adore. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is clean and light and gorgeous. And it smells like something that I know. It smells like something that I know, but it'll probably take me a while to figure out what. This is Peony, Vanilla, and Musk. Oh, it's so pretty. Very, very lightly floral. It's creamy from the vanilla and musk. It's just... It's so, so nice. I love this. This is, like I say, this is a different version of Femme than they've had in the past. Um, and this version is so, so good. So I am really liking this one. And then the next one that I adored, oh my gosh, when I wore this, I fell in absolute love. This is Violet Blossom. And this is again from the Night Collection. This is another one that lasted absolutely forever on my skin. Like I sprayed it on again in the afternoon one day and I could still smell it when I woke up the next morning. Ugh, I adore this. And this one again, it smells like something I know. It smells like they're trying to... It smells like a combination or like a mixture of Hypnotic Poison and Poison Girl. Like, it smells like if those two were mixed, you would get this Violet Blossom. Ugh, I love this. It smells so, so good. And it performs so much better than either of the Dior perfumes. So let's see here. Um, so Violet Blossom is Cherry Blossom, Magnolia, and Tonka Beans. And yeah, I think it's supposed to be trying to dupe um, Hypnotic Poison. But it really smells like a mixture of Hypnotic Poison and Poison Girl. I love it. It's such a good one. This was like the best $10 I've spent in a long time. So that one is Violet Blossom. And then I saved the best for last. So this is the first one I picked up and then I went back and bought the second one. And the, the second one is the reason I even made that huge second order. But this is... This is a fragrance that's just called Vanilla, and it's not from any, like, particular line, but it comes in this beautiful box, and it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's got that little lemur on the front because this is, um, this is a Madagascar Vanilla fragrance, and it's just so, so nice. So, yeah, I, um... And I almost want to keep the box because I love that little lemur. Like, it is so cute. So, anyways, this one is one that I was not expecting a lot out of. I thought, oh, it's just vanilla. Tip, you know, typically vanilla fragrances don't last great. Uh, so, I was not expecting a lot out of this. But the night that I got this order in, I sprayed this all over me, expecting it to be gone within an hour. And this hung around and I could still smell it the next morning after I had been to sleep. This is gorgeous. This is a dry vanilla. This is not a sweet vanilla at all. This is a vanilla like Eau Duel from, um, from Diptyque. Ugh, it's gorgeous. It's super expensive smelling. It's just a beautiful, like, dry vanilla. Um, this has more than just vanilla in it. So this is Mandarin Heliotrope and Madagascar Vanilla. And it does have a powderiness from the Heliotrope. 
it is, like I say, it's a dry, kind of astringent smelling vanilla. The orange blossom is just barely there and you really only smell it in the initial spray. The dry down is like all vanilla. So anyways, I adore this one. I was so, so glad I picked it up. And I am going to keep that guy in its box just because I adore the lemur on it. And I love that artwork. And then the next, so after I got that one, I knew they had another one on there. And the other one is called Cardamom. And I knew that I had to have this one too. And this is Cardamom from Guatemala. So it's got this leopard on it. I'm guessing that's a leopard. But yeah, this one, this is cardamom tea and green notes. This one is very, um, they, they've got it listed as like gender neutral on the box. And I would agree. This is completely like anybody could wear this. A man could wear this. A woman could wear this. Anybody could wear this. It's not, it doesn't lean one way or another. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It is spicy goodness. It's cardamom. If you like cardamom, you would love this. This is going to be like my holiday fragrance. I feel like if I pair these two together or layer them, it's just going to be stunning. This is one of those fragrances that I could literally add to anything and it will like spice it up or tone it down. It's just gorgeous. I adore these. So these were like my favorite finds. So if you guys are still hanging in there with me, thank you so much. I know that was like a ton and I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know if you have any questions or if any of you guys have any of these. I would love to hear your experience, if, especially if you have the vanilla or the cardamom or if you have any recommendations of anything else that I should pick up because I am definitely going to be doing another haul. There's another like set of fragrances that I had my eye on. They're like $12 a piece, so um, I'm definitely going to grab those. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!